I'm Corbett Wall with USDA Livestock and Grain Market News here with your weekly feeder and stocker cattle market summary for the week ending October the 12th where we had yearlings and light available tests selling mostly steady to as much as three dollars higher a lot of the higher prices were on a direct market not seeing a whole lot of load lots of yearlings coming through the auctions right now as they're predominantly calves calf prices were uneven again this week and extremely regionalized as most of our demand is right around that uh, wheat pasture country mostly just in Oklahoma uh, and in and around Oklahoma areas not too far from there where you really saw good demand uh, for cattle to put out on wheat and also similar type demand up in the northwestern plains uh, up in the the uh, western Dakotas uh, western Nebraska eastern Montana places like that and in those two major bright spots those calves sold from three to eight dollars higher and in spots ten dollars or more higher uh, with the predominantly on your steer calves down in Oklahoma on those weighing from four to five fifty and up north on uh, those lighter peewee calves from three to four fifty and that's where you saw those double digit gains on those kind uh, in Oglala, Nebraska had over 500 head of little light steer calves weighed from 350 to 400 pounds they averaged 216.57 and the demand is is so good in Oklahoma those light five weight calves which are really your main order call right there is for your solid colored and mostly black steers weighing from five to 550 and those light five weight steers are averaging closer to a dollar seventy than a dollar fifty right now in Oklahoma and, and those prices are really higher than then slightly north of there when you get into Kansas and get over in Missouri and Colorado your uh, your Oklahoma calves are outselling those and uh, and normally they're selling you know several dollars back of those cattle but cattle are getting harder to sell when you get up into Kansas over in Colorado Missouri uh, across I-70 there it's just uh, not as much demand there uh, especially big discounts on uh, you know balling calves especially those heavier balling calves with some flesh on them weighing from 550 to 700 pounds pretty stiff discounts on them especially the heifers but uh, predominantly calves in those areas are unevenly steady to as much as five dollars lower and way out in the southeast and, and beyond Arkansas Arkansas still enjoying some of the demand lent from their neighbor there at Oklahoma but you get on the other side of the Mississippi River and the southeastern calves are mostly one to three dollars lower and getting as much as eight dollars lower when you get way out to the mid-Atlantic like in the Carolinas <clears throat> but uh, the freight is just too much to try to get those calves in and there's not enough of that buying going on now to to overwhelm that area where the where the orders have to go out of those those uh, areas right there local but uh, you know freight is, is always a problem but but growing more and more every week as now we've saw diesel prices this week jump up to uh, way over four dollars a gallon as much as 430 in places and uh, also your shipping fever and just all the problems that go along with moving those cattle long ways and bringing them in trying to get them straightened up these Oklahoma guys have less than a month really to get those calves bought and straightened up before they want to turn those things out in the early part of November when that uh, when most of your turnout dates on leased wheat become available and, and most of the other guys that own their wheat go along with that also but usually turn those out early November and, and bring them off in the middle of March but uh, your fat cattle market this week was a dollar to a dollar fifty higher 125 to 125 and a half and three dollars higher on a dress basis but it's only at 193 and you figure that out the dress guys aren't getting quite as good a deal as the live guys are but uh, they needed that jump in the market this week as most all these cattle most all your pins unless they were really bought right are not reaching their break-evens uh, that doesn't mean that they're losing that much money of you know most all your big feeders are hedged up now and have a lot of risk management but if you just figured those cattle on what they cost to buy, what it costs to put the pounds on them, they're not working. The regional weighted averages this week in the north central states, an eight to nine hundred pound steer this week cost you one forty two forty three. Last week one forty one forty eight and a year ago one hundred and thirty four seventy three. 
And in the south central states, including Oklahoma there, but the other areas around, five to six hundred pound steer cost you one fifty five twenty one compared to one fifty four forty seven last week and one hundred and thirty nine thirty six a year ago. Down in the southeast, four to five hundred pound steer cost you one fifty five seventy one compared to one fifty seven twenty four last week and one hundred and thirty two fourteen a year ago. That wraps up your market summary for this week. Check out our website for more market information at marketnews.usda.gov. And from the Regional Market News Office in St. Joe, Missouri, we'll talk to you next week.